Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, now follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews and Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. Links in the description below. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another top 10 list for 2020. And today I want to talk about my top 10 worst toys for 2020. Every one of these figures, for some reason, whether I didn't like the paint or sculpt, or they just didn't work, or were broken, or just craptastic, uh, there was a reason they made the bottom of the list, so to speak. So let's see what my top 10 worst picks were. My number 10 pick has a very dubious honor. This made my top 10 Transformers of 2020, and it also makes my top 10 worst toys of 2020. And uh, yeah, it's the Quintesson Judge from Transformers Earthrise. And the reason it makes this top 10 worst list is the red and green faces you have to plug in when you get the figure. And there's zero reason for that. Uh, absolutely no reason except to show them in the packaging. And to get these things on are near impossible. In fact, I chipped one of the horns on the red face and cut my thumb open trying to get them on there and the only way i was able to do it was to physically take the screw and take apart the faces to get the hinge on i wrapped a piece of paper towel around it and was able to get the hinge on and then screw the faces back on it was ridiculous and never has should have been done that way it just, was bad design by hasbro and that's why it's number 10 on this list my number nine pick is going to go to the Gray She-Hulk. Now, I like the general sculpt of this figure, uh, but I don't like the paint on it at all. Uh, it's a particular cover slash comic that this figure is supposed to represent. And I get it. It is comic accurate, I suppose. But it's got a bunch of these little cuts all over her that's supposed to, you know, show she's been damaged and all that jazz. And it just looks bad. I don't like it. Like, if they would have done this without all the little cuts, this would have been a very, very good figure. And uh, it's a good mold, and I hope we see it uh, for future She-Hulks. I just, ugh, I don't know. It just, there's something about this that just didn't look right from the get-go for me, and that's why it's number nine on this list. My number eight pick is going to go to the Studio Series Satellite Mode Soundwave. And, yeah, this is just an all-round weak figure, which is kind of sad. I, I do like the fact that it comes with a stand. That's good. But the transformation on this is really bad. You basically fold out panels and flip his legs back. Um, and it just it doesn't look good. I think the original uh, Bayformer toy from when it came back out in the day looked better than this guy did. Um, I mean, I guess it kind of sort of looks a little bit like the satellite, but not really. And it definitely doesn't look Studio Series quality compared to some of the other figures like that Megatron figure or even the Soundwave in the Mercedes mode. Uh, it just doesn't have that same quality to it. The robot mode is very generic, very gray, plasticky, very little uh, paint on it. Now, the other thing is there's some light blue pieces on this, and if they would have used that translucent blue, it would have made this pop out a little bit more. It was just an all-round bad design, and that's why it's number eight on this list. 
My number seven pick is going to go to the Robot Transforming Vehicles. Now, these are a Dollar Tree Transformers that I found. They're obviously bootleg figures, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're bootleg knockoffs of actual Bayformer Transformers, most of them, and they're very cheap plastic. They feel like shampoo bottle plastic. Um, they don't transform very well at all, and, uh, you know, just don't really hold all that great together that being said they were a dollar a piece and i totally get that but they still suck and that's why they're number seven on this list my number six pick is going to go to the transformers anamorph tobias the hawk from all the way back in 1998. I actually found this at my local flea market for a few bucks. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, this is not a very good concept. Now, unfortunately, mine was missing the beak uh, on him, but uh, everything else was pretty much there. It's just kind of a bad design in the fact you see the human hands and body parts in the hawk mode for the most part. It, you know, it was interesting uh, to kind of go back and, and look at an old figure like that. But, uh, you know, they slapped it on with the Animorphs TV show, which had nothing to do with Transformers. It was based off of a children's book. And, uh, yeah, this, this just didn't sell that well. And uh, it was an interesting go at uh, another variation of the Beast Wars figures, I guess. And they're interesting to me but they're not very good, and that's why it's number six on this list. My number five pick is going to go to the Dual Boom Blast Jazz from Transformers Cyberverse, and this guy's a one-step changer, and it just, it, uh, it's got these weird ski things underneath the bottom, and they're warped, which really kind of, you know, irks me on my particular figure, because it doesn't doesn't sit quite well in the robot mode and uh, it stands kind of wobbly and it just doesn't clamp together right um, and the 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 effect that it's supposed to use doesn't quite go off as it should and it's probably one of the weakest of the one step changers that I've seen out of the cyberverse line uh, it just felt like almost like a knockoff figure. Very, very bad. And, uh, you know, it's a shame because it was a decent sculpt for Jazz. I'd like to see him in a deluxe figure. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it just wasn't very good. And that's why it's number five on this list. My number four pick is going to go to the Red Guardian from the Black Widow movie series line for Marvel Legends. And this is another figure that uh, hit my top ten Marvel Legends line and uh, for 2020 and my top 10 worst because Hasbro did not give us the figure that we wanted. It, it, the funny thing is this movie hasn't even come out yet. It's been delayed so many times this year because of the, the bogus uh, pandemic that's going on right now. And uh, I don't know if it's ever going to get released. It's probably going to go to streaming on Disney+. Plus, But uh, instead of giving us the... Uh, alternate head where he's got the mask on, they gave us this. And the, it doesn't even look like the character from the film. It looks way too young. He looks like he does in Stranger Things versus, uh, you know, the Black Widow movie from the trailers that we've gotten. Uh, we, we haven't got the movie yet, but uh, yeah. I don't know. They should have at least given us, a, a, you know, a head to swap out. And he's just too built. He's a lot chunkier in the actual movie. But thanks to Jacob's Toys, we were able to get a head that uh, uh, looked far better on this figure uh, than what Hasbro provided. And that's why it's number four on this list. My number three pick is going to go to the Sneak Strike Deadlock from a Transformers Cyberverse. And... Uh, if you don't know who this character is, so in the Cyberverse cartoon, we had uh, Drift, uh, Autobot Drift, uh, who was in the originally introduced the IDW comics years ago, and the original concept was he was a Decepticon that turned Autobot, and uh, he was a little gruff, but kind of a samurai bot. Well, in this incarnation, we get Drift, and by the end of the show, we find out he's actually been a double agent the whole time named uh, Deadlock here, which unto itself is a good concept. The problem is this toy. Um, the arm just falls 
off like that. Uh, it will not stain the joint hardly at all. And uh, the sword uh, gimmick doesn't work very well. It's It just always wants to pop out, and when the one pops out, it kind of knocks the arm off of it, and it's just a really bad quality figure. I don't know if it's mine in particular, or they all were like that, but it was just a damn shame, and that's why it's number three on this. My number two pick for worst toy this year has got to go to Chucky from the uh, Chucky and Tiffany uh, Bride of Chucky Nika 2-pack from Toonie Terrors. And it's a shame. The sculpt looks really nice on these, and the Tiffany figure is very, very good. The problem is Chucky. Um, he cannot stand by himself. Like, when you try to go pick him up by himself, he just falls right over every single time. And there's just no way to get him to stand on his own, which is ridiculous. It was designed badly. I, I, I don't know if mine was just, you know, warped in the legs or something, or if they're all like this, but mine definitely sucks. And that's why it's number two on this list. And my number one pick has got to go to the Studio Series RC triplets. So we got RC, Alita 1, and Chromia, and they're supposed to be scaled uh, to the size of the other figures in the Studio Series, I believe. They're all really small. They come in a three-pack, and uh, yeah, they're, they're just not good. It was a good idea, but they just don't work. The motorcycles are okay. I don't really have much of a problem with them, but uh, the figures themselves in their robot modes don't look all that great, and some of them can't really hold their weapons. And the worst part about this thing is they try to make it so that it was a combiner, so you could combine all three of them together. That was the initial concept of this uh, character or characters. But I don't think we ever got to see that in the actual movie. Um, and to combine this thing is a flipping nightmare. It is near impossible and I, I think they just abandoned it in the actual official run because there are no instructions on how to do this. Um, we've been able to kind of piece it together from some pictures online and a couple other YouTubers. And it's just, yeah, I, I it took me a good half hour to get the thing to clip in together uh, the way it's supposed to apparently go. And it just looks awful and it's terrible and... Well, um, you know, they suck really bad, and that's why they're number one of worst toys for 2020. What do you guys think? Uh, did I hit any of uh, the worst figures that you hated this year on this list, or are there figures that should have made this list I didn't cover? I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below, or jump over to my Facebook page and join the conversation there. Upload pictures of your collections or links to your videos. I would love to see them. And you can always follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews or Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.